Humans are fascinated by megastructures. They represent a civilization that achieved the impossible. Gerard O'Neill began this exercise many years ago with his physics class at Princeton, and we have carried on this tradition through the past few decades through the NSS Space Settlement Contest. This contest for students up to 12th grade helps to spread the goals of the National Space Society to an international audience. First of all, I am amazed to see the efforts the students have put into this particular competition, that is the NASA Space Settlement Competition. Here, usually all the schools, what they do is from the beginning of the session, they start their project work and finally they submit their project work by the time of December, that is the deadline. One month time period, they achieve the first place under this particular category. This is the first time in the history of Bangladesh the students took part in this particular competition that is NASA Space Settlement Contest and this is the highlights that we have to mention that we had achieved in the first attempt itself. They were struggling in few sectors like with the parameters and everything. So teachers give them a more realistic view and idea about the parameters that they can actually use which would enhance the structure that they would be building. So the end result actually was much more polished because it was a two-way communication between the students and the teacher and eventually there were many many ideas that came along the way. Uh, only the best ones were actually picked which was uh, supported both from the uh, group members and also the teachers. I think the best parts of doing this project was the experience. We six stayed up for almost three at night to complete this project. One of our great inspiration was Shivana Dusra. I think he also inspired and encouraged us a lot. And I also thank our physics teachers and Ranjit sir for staying up with us. <laughs>